Hi, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session, we will learn how to create the very basic model driven app in Microsoft Power Apps platform. First of all, we check what is the model driven app. Model driven app, it's an approach. In this approach, we can add the multiple components like the forms, view, charge, dashboard and table. And we can create a relationship between these components so that we can navigate and view these components in a proper sequence. This model driven app is best suited for the process. What is the process? Process means sometimes we need to implement some kind of process where process like involved in a multiple steps in a sequence like the onboarding of the employee, a process, say managing a sales process. So it could have like multiple steps which should be followed in a sequence. So for the process, linear process, model driven is the best. Now first of all we will check how to create the basic and very first model driven app. So for creating the model driven app, we have a solution and we can create the new model driven app in a solu existing solution or we can create the new solution. What is the solution? Solution basically it is a container and that solution can contain the say sitemap, process, uh, dashboards. So it's a container. Now solutions and new solution. My solution and the publisher it's a mandatory. So we take the default publisher and now create. So we can see my solution. So new solution we have created now we check this one. So we can see there is no component in this solution. So first of all we will add some resource like a table. Say add existing means the table already which is are available in the library of the power app. So table and select account then next and include all objects. Now add. Now we can see we have a solution. Our solution, the name of the solution is the my solution, and and that solution we have a table. Name is the account. Now we will check how to create the very basic model driven app. So we have a solution and the new then app and model driven app. Name of the app say model driven app say fifteen. Description. It's optional. So create. So we have the view of the model in app. In the center we have the preview of the pages. And in the left side we have the navigations. And the right side we have the details of the selected component. So if we check the navigation. So first of all we have the navigation and pages. So in pages for now there is no pages. And if we check the navigation, so in the navigation, so by default, we have the group one. In the group one, we have the sub area one. So I delete this one and also I delete the group now. So here we can decide or we can organize our navigation bar. So first of all, we'll create the group. Say group, then change the name. Second group and again say a sales group or activity group. Activity group. So basically, we are organizing our navigation now. So we have two groups accounts group and the activity group. So select the account group now add sub area. So in sub area we can add the another source say table dashboard. So we select say content type table dashboard or custom page. So first of all table and table we take the account and add. So this is the view of the account table when you navigate in your mobile app. 
and here you can delete edit or add the data in this account table now we select the activity group and add the sub area then again table and activity table now this is the view of the our activity sub area or activity table under the activity group but if we use the classic designer then in the classic de uh, designer there is another feature that is the area so you can add the area what is the area basically in designer in model driven app you can add the multiple area so if we check the area and area we can add the multiple area in area we can add the multiple group and in group we can add the multiple sub area so we check switch to classic save and continue so now we have the designer classic designer so you can see first of all we have the sitemap the sitemap we can decide the behavior of our navigation how our uh, components will be navigated from this navigation bar then second one the dashboard and third one the business process so we can implement the process and finally we have the entity view so already we have taken the two table that is the account and activity so this is the view of this table so now we want to change the navigation sequence say select this sitemap and here already we have created the account group and the activity group and by default we have the area so this area is available on the classic view suppose you want to create the more area then the right uh, the right side you can see area group and sub area so select area and drag and drop this that the second area say name it sales area now more area say change it hr area now we have the three area area 1 sales area and hr area so this option is not available in your in your modern designer so this can be done only in the classic view in the sub area sales area or hr area you can add say suppose you select the sales area and say components then group drag and drop group so this is good this group belongs to this sales area say you can change here sales group now hr area nothing is there again you can add say component then group change it hr group so area 1 that is the by default we have the two group account and activity sales area we have the sales group and hr area we have another that is the hr group so using this classic designer you have the facility of the creating the area okay back to the the design of the navigation is ready now we'll check then play now you can see in the left side we have the two group that is the accounts group and the activity group in accounts group we have the accounts table if you check this one so here you can add it add or say delete the data from this table and then activities another table and you can do the same activity say like delete edit or update so this is how you can organize your navigation bar and you can add the different type of resource in your model driven app so guys this was all about how to create a very basic model driven app in the power apps thanks for watching the video